Does yours or your baby's mouth look like this? If so, the chances are that you or they have a common fungal infection called oral thrush. Oral thrush, also known as oropharyngeal candidiasis, is a fungal infection in the mouth that's caused by an overgrowth of candida yeast, usually candida albicans. It's common in infants, the elderly, and people with weakened immune systems, though it can occur in anyone. Now, it's characterized by white, creamy lesions on the tongue, inner cheeks, roof of the mouth, the gums, the tonsils, or the back of the throat. Now, these lesions can be painful, and they might bleed slightly when scraped. Now, in this video, we're going to cover what it looks like, including some real-life photos to help you better recognize it, other symptoms in both adults and babies, treatment, and finally, prevention, as well as where to find out some more useful tips and resources. So first of all, let's cover what does it look like, and let's take a look at some photographs. Well, thrush inside the mouth will vary from person to person, but typically you might see a redness inside the mouth with white patches that look like this. Now, like I mentioned earlier, when you wipe off the white patches, they can leave red spots that can bleed, and usually it's quite difficult to wipe off the white patches in thrush. Other symptoms in adults include cracks at the corners of the mouth, not tasting things properly, an unpleasant taste in the mouth, pain inside the mouth, so for example a sore tongue or sore gums, and difficulty eating and drinking. Oral thrush in adults is not contagious, meaning you can't spread it from one person to another. Now, in babies, you might notice a white coating on the tongue, which may look like cottage cheese, and it cannot be rubbed off easily. Sometimes, there are white spots inside the mouth, and babies with oral thrush may not want to feed. Another important thing to be aware of is that babies can pass oral thrush on through breastfeeding. Now, this can cause nipple thrush in mothers, so it's really important that if your baby has oral thrush, you get it treated. So what should you do if you think you or your baby has oral thrush? Well, the good news is that your local pharmacist can help with oral thrush. Usually it can be easily treated with a mouth gel bought from a pharmacy, and this gel is suitable for adults, children, and babies over the age of four months. In terms of how to take it, ask your pharmacist for some advice, and always follow the instructions on the medicine packet. It's also really important that you always read the instructions and the possible side effects before taking the medicine. Now, it's really important that you do treat it, and that's because if you leave oral thrush untreated, the infection can spread to other parts of the body. Now, in certain situations, you should see your doctor, especially if your baby is under four months and has got signs of oral thrush. You've got oral thrush and you don't see any improvement after one week of treatment with a mouth gel, or if you've got difficulty or pain when swallowing. So, how can you prevent oral thrush? Well, oral thrush, like I mentioned, is an infection caused by a fungus called candida. Some things can make fungi grow more easily than others. So you might find that you're more prone to get oral thrush if you're taking antibiotics over a long period of time, you're using asthma inhalers, or you're having cancer treatment like chemotherapy. If this is the case, there are some other things you can do to help try and prevent oral thrush. So this includes making sure you take care of your teeth. So this means brushing twice a day, cleaning your dentures, and going to regular checkups even if you've got dentures. You should also brush your gums and your tongue with a soft toothbrush if you don't have any teeth and rinse your mouth after eating or taking medicine. I'd also suggest that you go to regular checkups with your dentist if you've got a long-term condition like diabetes and you sterilize dummies or if you're an American watching this video, pacifiers regularly and sterilize your baby's bottles each time after they've used them. Now, I've included lots more useful resources if you'd like to learn more about this topic in the description box of the video from trusted websites. And if you do have any questions, please do leave a comment below and I'll try my best to get back to you. I hope you learned something new from this video. If you did and you want to stay up to date with my newest videos, which I publish every week, please remember to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, thanks for watching and bye.